a special uh, interview we have with uh, Leonard Mapfumo. Just spoke to him. He's ready to roll with us. So can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. And uh, we're coming through today, uh, sponsored by World Cargo International. Uh, like I said earlier in the show, I will be able to give you all the details about this sea freight and air freight company. It's called World Cargo International, based in Luton, right here in the United Kingdom. So I'll give you more detail um, in uh, uh, this hour as well as uh, the last part of the show where I'll actually get into detail telling you the kind of services that they're giving out there and uh, where you can find their services and everything. So World Cargo International sponsors the show for today. To those on Facebook, how are you doing, Shalina? I can see you. Uh, hi there, Billy. Mapinda, mapinda, that you have to tamba my records. But in the end, you know, there are two things that are going to be between two, uh, rather, one and two o'clock. Those are my records, I'm not tamba. <laughs> so yes, uh, between uh, one and two o'clock, which is the last part of the hour of the show, rather, it's the last hour of the show, I will be playing new music from the 80s and the 90s, and I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, that's coming up. But right now, just to tell you that I'm going to go off and come back with Leonard Mafumo. We will be playing his music, talk about everything about him. So that's coming up right here on this show. We call the Vintage 73 show. I'm going to play something that I quite enjoy and um, it, it kind of it, quite catchy. It's kind of quite catchy. It's performed by Marble Madondo and uh, it features Sebastian Magacha. And this is of an album that I really loved. It's called Faithful and Just from some years ago. And this is the song, Disho.
live on Facebook, I'm sure you've already seen that um, Nama Fumo has joined us. <laughs> Nama Fumo. I mean, there's no way I can be talking about Lennon Nama Fumo and not going Nama Fumo. He just says it such a cool way. <laughs> He does it in every song. You, you, you gotta hear that. Nama <laughs> Pumo. How are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. I can see that you can hear me, but I can't hear you. I don't know what it is I didn't do. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know it's buttons. Forgive me. I told you earlier, right? I warned you. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I, I did warn you. I'm like, since you give you my button, I don't know about what I'm at. My, uh, I'm my one. But you're doing it. We did a good job today. We didn't, we didn't struggle that much because uh, my uh, technical uh, team is, is, is spot on, right on it. How are you doing? Nine say, minutes. What do you say, Koshamon? I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm good. It's been uh, it's been a minute. Uh, I it's haven't seen you in a very a long time. But the thing is, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. I've got a now. I don't have cornrows anymore. <laughs> no, that <laughs> yes, obviously we all have all these cool hairstyles and and stuff. But in terms of just looking at you now, you know how at times you will see me say like in this case maybe you haven't seen me in ten years and did it. But yeah, we, yeah. You now wait, steady, continue. Did very small? Oh, I mean, oh, fun guys just got up. My forty, you didn't. I just had Yeah, yeah, somewhere there. It's like I'm like, think it has Sahara, my wrinkles, steady and stuff. People do change, but you, you, you look just as young. I think that's the point that I'm trying to make. You oh, look thank you, thank you, just thank you, young. thank you. I was, and I was worried that I was getting a bit gray, so you know, if you say I still look that, young, well, that that unfortunately that's good. that will come whether you like it or not. I, I, I've yet to experience <laughs> that, and, the, and it's, it, there are times when you're trying to fight it, but there's times when it's very aggressive. <laughs> yeah, like me, someone is aggressive. It's it's it's, it's going crazy. Really, but we like don't I, we don't really see it, and I think I think it's cool just to let it out. Yeah, I, I made sure the lighting is a bit dim so that you don't see the <laughs> <gray hair. laughs> so no, 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 you. No. I'm, I'm gonna get into to, you know everything that we want to talk about after a song. Obviously, we want for people to know that we're talking to Nama Fumo. If they've All not right. seen your face, at least they know your music. So I'm gonna play a song and then we right. we, we 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 get into it, if that's okay with you, okay? That that's all right with me. Cool. Right, where are we? Shika kuma kuma Shika kuma kuma Shika kuma kuma Shika kuma kuma Yo, chokwadi, upenyi bura Nasri ni mwe ya mamba na rafo tota Nasti ndaka muna jifamba anegenga This year aka vloga ndaka muna kmira ega Hinga wani mjiru dendere zware upenyu Kana suji famba shamari zino kutera Hasi kwa zno uma ununa wamira wega Hasi shamari ye chokwadi no uya yoku denge zera Hinga wani marungu bano jihapana nuda shamari morombo Zuwa ne zuwa ruparu tivi ya chingo kutivo njipu Mauno mufunzo no mu no get an so as a shamari the chocolate no ku chengeta a mumoyo in the one na shamari pa moyo it shall be changed up shika kuma goma sita rake jehova no tonga kumo soro Trying to impress with the flesh at best Give it a rest 
In case uh, you're just joining us, we're live uh, on Pomtengo Radio. We're right here in Luton, and uh, we have a special guest today. We're talking to Lennon Mob. From what the exciting thing is, we are on the same land. Okay, it's it's he's not far away. <laughs> <laughs> he's not too far away from me. He's actually somewhere, you know, around here, some yeah, a few miles away from me. But he's around here in the United Kingdom. Now, I want to officially, officially welcome you to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Right. So, you know, when you say that you want to talk to Leonard Mopfumo, um, after he's just gotten married, uh, everybody's like, yeah, we'll be there. We want to hear. <laughs> 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 but for me, I'm here to say congratulations. I'm really so Oh, thank you. I mean, guys, like I was saying, what do you find out? You know what I mean? Yeah. I can and all these things that I see a lot of you doing, it's, it, you know, feel like I make a vibe so kind of special, if you, if you get what I'm trying to say. You yeah, no, I, I, get, I get what you mean, I get what you mean. I actually remember <laughs> this one embarrassing moment <laughs> when you met us in a shop, Stella Dina, so when you were buying ice cream and chips and you went on radio and spoke about it, you know. <laughs> Ice cream. Yeah, yeah. So do, do, Leonard, imagine ice cream and chips. Yeah, ice cream. <laughs> snack, snack for dinner. <laughs> so, so that, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. Is Pudi? You know, we, we were both in a certain space, and this is when you know urban grooves is starting, and yeah. there's a lot of uh, built up around it. Some of it very negative, and some of it, some of it also very very uh, positive. Now I wanna I wanna I wanna, you will forgive me. I will obviously talk, I, I, would, I would like to talk a little bit about, you know, you uh, tying the knot recently, just a little bit. Uh, but yes. I obviously want to dwell much on the music career itself. Leonard Mafumo, Linda Ramzira, Tammy Eben Groves, Nobana Razia, Kunemunanons, with Leonard Mafumo. And Leonard Mafumo, Aouya, Chivato, Pisa, you know, it was hit after hit, whether you featured in a song or you did your own song. Django Flora. And the most amazing thing, I think that I feel at times I look at you and I'm like, I think Van, very a bit unfair, I have a notice or whatever. But you're one of those guys that have also been very consistent. Uno, uno repa in Shona. Uno repa. And Shichina Kidza. Do you get what I mean? It's, yeah. it, it's, it's that that we hang on to. The thing I want to get into is. How did you get into this? Because that story is always unique and, and exciting to hear. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, when I, when I was very young, um, mm -hmm. I used to spend a lot of time with uh, my uncles. Yeah. And, yeah, I, I would go and, 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 um, and just chill with them. Yeah. And they'll be playing music. They'll be playing on a run DNC, you know. And uh, AO Cool J. And for me, that was that was that was really cool because there was always music around. So when I started going to school, um, mm -hmm. I remember in grade five, there was a play, there was a drama play that was going on. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be part of it, but I couldn't react, you know, I couldn't act to save my own life. So they said, uh, so I said, no, listen, what I'll do is that I'll write a song mm -hmm. for the play. Yeah. Uh, after I write the song for the play, uh, I'll sing before the uh, the actors go in and I'll sing after the exits are finished. And then the teacher thought ah, it was it was it was really good. It's a yeah. good plan. Let's do it. So I wrote my first song. Then I was in grade five. Wow. So from then on, you know, when there was the talent show, uh, those that went to more players in school would know. Uh, I would I would perform at talent shows, and after that, right immediately after that, mm -hmm. uh, then decided, okay, I'm gonna take this uh, up as a as a full time thing that I want to do. I just want to do music. But it didn't go very well with my mom and dad. So when I told that's them this, that's that's <laughs> with a lot of them. They didn't exactly. believe in this. They didn't believe in this. Never. They, they, never, 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 never. You tell exactly, me, you know? teachers, I pay that's no way 
<laughs> exactly. To make matters worse, well, my, my dad had tried. My dad had tried to get in the music industry, but he then failed. You know, so uh, he, he had tried. It was tried and tested that this doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't work. But I you know, had the same passion that he had. You know, I had the same passion that he had. <laughs> and so for, for me, then I I met a couple of friends that did the same thing. I don't know if you remember uh, MC Villa. Uh, yeah, I remember MC, the late, yeah, uh, the late, the late Villa, yeah, oh. and and Stagi, uh, who's also here in the UK. Wow. Uh, so we started off a group eight outward bound, you know, to what a group of Marain, Snope, Kuma, 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 different schools and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Then, um, then we decided, okay, we need to record this professionally. We need to go and look for a studio. Yeah. Then we went and we looked for a studio. I found Dilani Makalima. When I found Dilani Magalima, I used to rap in English, though. Okay. You know, so, yeah, so Dilani, when we went to see Dilani, we can say, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, what, what, what do you have? And then I, you know, then I got up and I went, yeah, it's like this and like that and like this and now. Uh, <laughs> time on the map was spectacular. I said, whoa, let me stop you there. <laughs> let me stop you right there. <laughs> do you have a shorter song? <laughs> I said, no, I, I don't have a Shona song. I said, uh, go and write a Shona song. I like wow. the way that you that you rap. Go yeah. and write a Shona song and come back to me. So of the three of us, he said, I, I want you, I want to work with you. You know, so I went, uh, I went back. Those friends must, watched... must have been heartbroken then because you guys yeah, were like a yeah. team. Oh. Exactly. So, so when you say that, when you said, uh, go and write an English song, mm-hmm. I, was, I was a bit offended. So I then left. <laughs> I, I left. Don't think it's a barrage. Exactly. Don't think it's a barrage. Exactly. You know, so after a while, I then went to different studios. Then mm-hmm. I was told good there's a studio that is uh, by uh, Magolis Plaza. Yeah. There's a, there's a studio that is a Magolis Plaza. So we used to go uh, mm-hmm. studio Magolis Plaza, and there was a different producer. Yes. So you tell us to come back. So we went back, back and forth, back and forth until one day we knocked on the door mm-hmm. and Dilani opened the door, you know, and I dodged him. <laughs> then he saw me and said, dude, I've been looking for you. Where have you been? You know, you know, ah, you know if you talk about my explanations, ah, you know, ah, you know, tell me plus, but that's what you tell, you know what? Plus, listen, I want you, I've got a project that I want you to do for me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was with Stagi and NC Villa and he said, I want this guy, I want to work with this guy. Oh. So, so I went back and uh, I wrote uh, an advert for him. And after that advert, he then said, listen, I want to do a song with you. Then a friend of mine, Anunzi, blessing, blessing Chikada, lost his mother. So I, I then wrote a song for him. Then I went back to Tilani and I said, listen, Tilani, this is a song that I want to do, you know. Mm-hmm. And he said, it's a brilliant song. Uh, but my friends didn't think so. They said, listen, Leo, you've got a chance to record and have your music on radio and you want to start off with a sad song, you know. So um, and then he said, it's a brilliant song. I want you to sing on this song. Uh, then I did, I, I started recording the song. I mm-hmm. wanted Roy and Royce on the song, but unfortunately Roy and Royce were not. Uh, they, they were the going time. to work then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they were very busy. They agreed. Kudisha, you know, yeah, we'll, just, we'll be on the song and whatnot. But unfortunately, they were too busy. So, mm-hmm. you know, there was a boy that was always in the studio and his name was Rockford Joseph. They said, no, listen, I can do this. So he stayed over the evening, recorded the song. And when I came back, the song sounded perfect. But so this song was actually done in when, memory. When st- <laughs> this song was, saying, was actually done in memory of a situation that had happened. Not just you guys yeah. sitting down and writing a song and saying, ah, I'm going by this said song, it was actually a dedication. Yeah, it was a dedication of, uh, for a friend, you know. Oh, yeah. cool. he's, he's more of a brother, you know. So I wrote it for him because of uh, his mom had passed away. So I just said, oh, okay, let me... Sorry to hear let that. Me, you let, you let got your blessing out of yeah. that, baby. <laughs> yeah, I, I got my blessing out of that, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that, that launched me to the music industry. And yeah, wow. here we are today. So then I think in this situation, we, we need to, to, to play the song just so that, you know, for those that really uh, don't know, uh, also then get a chance to know. By the way, uh, we're sponsored by World Cargo International. It's an air freight and sea freight uh, services company. I will give you uh, much more detail um, in, uh, towards the end of this show uh, where we are talking to 
uh, Mark Fumo. And this is the song that brought him on the scene. Take a listen. <laughs> Samai ma ego na chitu samara winda saran tango vaniri randa puga manta na mata kwa muri yimi yishendi noziva shiwa muneri do muneti timu nenyasha asinasi ai wamanzi gura kuno dira kundi kanza mfumo pasi yani wa iziva kuti zvino zvichadai nasumuno tongo chema tichi vunda samatinga sei mavatura matiro maisha munyoro tango venza ngariro muri yose yo yuvira amai danga manga muri pano muri vataro wa mai chaizo fara tiri pamwe tiri tose ya mai ndino ziva chaona na zvakare kushika iro zvo zorora murugari ye mai sei ko makane si andi ndega ndine dangare iro zero wa mai ndipa sei ko makane si andi ndega ndine dangare Chashanda ni simba so kutara kwa maitsa ukashinga uchakunza akuitsa kwenya mai kwa ipfura kwe murume zwane zwa So there you are in case you didn't know this this song was actually done in memory of uh, a friend's uh, mother who passed on and uh, he, uh, Leonard said the name was Blessing and you say he's like a big brother Yeah 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 His name is Blessing yeah he was like a big brother so he used wow. to look out for me you know You guys just nailed it in this song and uh, I think you just won uh, the hearts of a lot of people uh, in in terms of um, the, how we look at our mothers you know uh, we yeah. adore our mothers and there's still that debate that goes on you know world over can I choose my mother's day and father's day and yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> there seems to be more focus on mother's day than there is for father's day And so when you do a song like this it's just like with Toki vibes I mean when he did the song for Mama Agaba don't go with Nai Papo because yes. a lot of us obviously have that very soft spot for our moms for mama uh, not yeah, like me man baba you are less but I don't know what to do I always such na pressure na pressure on this guy good yeah. good good one so anyway uh we continue talking about you know uh the journey itself in terms of music um just so you have a bit of a background of what i'm trying to do out here uh a lot of people probably look at me and say oh she's trying to get back on radio she's i think what i've told myself is that i want to dedicate some time to radio um this way because i and i call it vintage 73 because that's the year that i was born and i've said to myself i would like to celebrate i would like to appreciate uh some of the things that were happening or people that i met during my radio career okay in zimbabwe but when they say what time do you know what i mean they tell me like, i really love to sit down and talk to ningi and find out more about them because they really just make my day even just personally besides the fact that they were doing well in in in, in whatever industry they were in but let's sit down and have a drink Yeah, that's, <laughs> true. that's, that's so true. That's so, so true. So I said to myself, God, you've given me a bit of time uh, now, and I don't know for how long I'll be able to do this because uh, you know the life out here it's tricky. But <laughs> I, I, I said to myself, the the time that I've got, I just want to go back and see. What can Butanga say? What can Buida say? Because some of us don't even have those stories, and 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 I speak for a lot of people. What is Zini? Don't go to South Africa in Basengo, but I think I don't know. Yeah, I got to get to dedicate it. It, although some people might know, but I didn't know that that it was dedic- it's a special dedication. I thought you guys just sat down with Rocky and said, "I think it was so mechi, but my God, you know these lyrics have come up. Let's just do this, bro. You know, mm, mm, <laughs> so yeah, this is I amazing. Know, know, this know, this know, is truly amazing. Now the journey continues. Leonard Mafumo Akuzi Kanwa. Leonard Mafumo is all over the place. Leonard Mafumo is in a lot of songs. You featured in a lot of songs. Uh, obviously, so being true. a rapper, and you've also done a lot of your own songs. That even yesterday, when I was trying to get music to play, I was like, I didn't know there was a song like this. 
you know, <laughs> you, you, you've done a lot of work in the background. Uh, when you still, who were you working with in terms of, you know, production? Uh, in terms of production, uh, we had uh, we had moved on. So we mm-hmm. started off with Dylan, which yeah. was um, uh, Dylan had done a lot of work with a lot of artists. So we had started mm-hmm. off with Dylan, and during that time, there was a lot of producers that were that were also coming out. Uh, DJ Maraz, who was working in Mutare. Mm-hmm. Um, there was um, uh, more more that oh, was yeah, I uh, on the other people, side of team, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, on the, exactly on the other side of some more than a DS, you DS. know. Um, but yeah, yeah, but we we had stayed with uh, with Dilani. So mm-hmm. when Dilani then relocated to South Africa, we mm-hmm. then uh, Tatenda Jenami, who is uh, take five? affectionately known as Tech Five, Tech <laughs> Fizzle. <laughs> yeah, Tech Fizzle. <laughs> tech Fizzle. Yeah, he had opened up a studio. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, in the, yeah, in the uh, Dark Squad Studios. Mm-hmm. So it opened up a studio in Dark Squad Studios. So uh, my freak, they, they, you know, they, they were not getting as much uh, studio time at, at the land studio. Uh-huh. So they then started recording, started recording with, uh, with Tatenda a lot. Mm-hmm. So when, when the land then decided to, to move to South Africa, they came mm-hmm. to us and said, listen, come through uh, to the studio. Uh, mm-hmm. Tatenda's got a studio and Tatenda was a friend. So we just said, okay, let's go to Tatenda's studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we went to Tatenda's studio, we spent a lot of time there and we started recording a lot of songs. Um, my first song that I recorded um, at Tatenda's studio was um, Dio was at the place of anyone. Why you at Gashra? You were. Oh, yes. Dio and Dio and Dio and Dio and That's what I'm going to play. I could not move. Dio was at the place of anyone. Why you at Gashra? You were. Dio and Yeah. So you have like a soulful vibe, so vibe so in the beat. Yeah. That, no one. Yeah, can, can, can lay it back. Can lay it back. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I featured uh, Discord on that one. So, mm-hmm. that song. Uh, well, most of my songs, uh, yeah. most of the songs that I write, I write them um, they experience something that I would have experienced or I write it for someone. So um, that song, I met this this girl. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you know, I just wanted to write something for her. So I went to Discord's house and said, listen, Discord, uh, I want to, I've got, a, I've got a melody that I want to do and I've got a session with, with Tatenda. So I went to pick him up. So I told him, listen, so the song goes like this. Wow. And all of a sudden he said, listen, I, I, I'll sing this song. Let's leave now. So we left. When we got to the studio mm-hmm. and we sang the song and, 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 you know, Tech 5 started working his magic, putting that, that laid back big, that, that, that bounce and, 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 and whatnot, you know, those, those keys and, oh man. man so like just putting it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it all just flowed like that. Wow. So yeah. So it's all so, because you were you were there was someone that you liked to that level. There was someone that I liked to that level, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and and you were feeling her. Mm-hmm. I was I was feeling her. <laughs> I was feeling her. So I hope wife, I just, I just, I hope wife didn't hear this. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's history now, you know, it's history. It's, it's, it's part of what made there. Yeah, so she she knows, you know. Oh, it, that's it, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, after that, I kept mm-hmm. on working with with, with the tin and I then worked with um I worked uh, the next song that I then recorded. Um, mm-hmm. I worked with Tatenda and TBA. Uh, it was called Shevets. Yeah, yeah. And the, the funny thing is, I was I was I was looking for it. I didn't find it, but it, it was one of the big songs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 there on Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Okay. or so, yeah, Spotify. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Okay. Any, any, yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. 
Yeah, I then did that song with TBA. It, it, it was it was amazing. It's another story on its own. Every song is a story. It's got a song. I love that. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I think I'll write a book. Uh, you should. My, uh, I'm working songs, on mine. You uh, should. And, and, and there are stories. Yeah, I, th- I think I should do that, you know. I think I should do that. You should Maybe, all do you know, that. People will get to understand where these songs are coming from. Exactly. So, yeah. So from there, I then decided, okay, me and Rock probably decided because we, we've always been good friends. I said, listen, mm-hmm. let's do an album together called the R&L. You know, the R&L, yes. Rocky, and yes. Leonard, the first half, yeah, uh, 40 track album, yeah. So we did the first half. The first half we worked with, uh, Dila- oh, sorry, Tatenda and and um, TBA on mm-hmm. that on that on the, on that uh, on that album. Yes. Uh, the album had songs like um, uh, My Day, Shevedza, Ntiwe, um, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, which songs did, 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 did Ayaho? Ayaho is on I, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it, it it was a great album. It took us about two years to do it. Back then, back then we had we had the time to do music, you know, in 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 uh, in, in a space of time. Space it took like us two that, years to yeah. do that. Yeah, to to to, to do that album. Mm-hmm. So I I yeah from from that end, I then opened my own studio, which was called Hashin Fashi. Uh, I worked with a lot of people. I worked with um, I worked with uh, Junior Brown. I worked with TBA, I worked with Sani Makalima, and yeah. Yeah, because the issue issue was 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 another uh, space or era that is not that that we cannot just forget. That that is so true. That is so true. That, that, that was that amazing. You guys there. did some amazing productions with uh, what's his name again? He's in South Africa now. Joe Machingura. Yes. Mr. Yeah, Joe Machingura. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the truth. There was, there was, there was a lot that's of work true. put into what you guys were doing at the time. And we really, you know, because obviously Zimbabwe was in that 75% local kind of uh, phase. Yes, and, yes, yes, yes. And yes, you yes. guys really just kept things rolling because you kept bringing out some really nice productions. Oh, thank you so much. Thank yes. you, thank you. Yes, that's thank so you. true. Yeah. So, oh, I, I'm just going to read a few messages. Wanarungo kufa runs in a mafumo ndi gameboy. Gameboy. What? What? <laughs> Makaki entertainer. <laughs> There's Oliver Shap- <laughs> Shapala. Stand to say cool. Menu ya nifunga no guzi wa. Cool. Cool. Then I've got a Collier's uh, Chiruka who says, Leonard Arnold Mapfumo, you are the right candidate to write the Jamembe book. You are such an orator. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you wow. so much. And uh, yes, uh, some people from Pamtengu are also watching. Uh, Angeline sending some love. Angeline Mukombozi sending some love. People just oh, thank you, thank like you. that. Yeah. And so um, I'm going to play a song. And then when we come back, we want to try and fast forward things because obviously we all don't right, have enough right. time. Yeah. So we're going to try and That's fast so forward true. things because now we know you are with Hesh, you were with Hashim Feshi and you guys did oh, what yeah. you did. So we want to quickly move from there and to almost now. <laughs> ah, all right. That's, yeah. that's all good. I'm going to play right. uh, um, this song that you were just singing now, Diwe. Am I playing the right one? No, you, uh, you're you playing the one that I keep with every. Let me let me look for it because I know I've got it. That's the right one. Shy 
Jive wandi cha sunzira masa kwa tira Kukupa ruduri ya rinosi rino tapira Jive wandi cha visira zo sa zinotika Mbuzi wa ine zo se ne faralira Jive wandi fambisa mune rino chando Iwe chiterera wangu murizo Yangu namo kumanyi swane mbwa ganja zine mafumo Jive watu mamukanya kumwa mvura ile sina kubongozwa Kutamba ne muswe we shumba iwe Chitera rudo rangu nekunda tera wako chibwere chimore Nekuti iwe ndiwe Muchinano <laughs> Oh, that just took me back. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, I can uh, see myself uh, getting ready for a show and saying, I was a for completion. It's, 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 it's. You know, it's it's that uh, great time. It's it's oh, yes. it oh, was yes. like a whole different setup. It's it, it's a lot of things that that are coming into my head as I'm listening to the song, and it's so cute. It's it's got those I don't know if it's strings or whatever that didn't didn't do. It, it's it's just amazing the way it was put together. It's it's so cute. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. I could say. It's a cute song. <laughs> <laughs> With it was young love. It was young love. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's if if it had been written for me, don't lucky girl chai go chai go 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 man. Kuyi wa song, you know, pisa so beautiful song. So you saying that your story, your your music is 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 is, is a stories, the, the, yeah. the things that you have personally experienced, and uh, with Hashim Fesi, you're working with uh, Joe, and uh, yeah, you are working with a lot of uh, artists, and Junior Brown, uh, yeah. Sunny, uh, Sunny Makalima, and them, because obviously Delani um, Anga Sisipo, Saga, you guys teamed up yeah. and making the music, and most of the artists did did well, and they're still really quite yeah. good artists to this day or they are in whatever fields they are doing but they become really successful in whatever else that they are doing and we know that um then Heshim Feshi Akusi Sina Tombo Pina Pafezi Akuti Jani from Heshim Feshi what what was what was the next stop for Leonard Mapfumo all right so um after Heshim Feshi and then we we, I, we shoved it for a little bit because yes. you know um I think every 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 everything it comes to a point where if, if you're running, say you're doing a five kilometer job, mm -hmm. there's a point where you get tired and say, ah, I can't be mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's the, it was zero, but that's, that's the most important time for you to then uh, carry on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, tap a three kilometers, you know, mm -hmm. so we took a break for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, then after that, uh, Joe then went to South Africa again. Mm -hmm. And I then started working with um, a lot of artists. I started working with uh, producers like um, uh, Mark D. Mark yeah. D. When we did, uh, yeah, yeah, I started working with Mark D. I started working with a number of producers. Mm -hmm. But I then realized, you know what? I need, I need to to then put a um, uh, set up something again. So what I then did is that I then uh, partnered with a gentleman called uh, Steve Jianaisha, who is Chinese, mm -hmm. and uh, we yeah we then opened a studio at, mm -hmm. at uh, which was called JCMC Studios, which is currently right, running right now. Wow. Um, JCMC yeah JCMC is a media house that 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 takes care of young talents. Mm -hmm. and try and export them around the world, give them scholarship uh, in the arts industry and mm -hmm. uh, try and promote young artists. So how, 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 then, how, then, oh, how uh, is that going? Or, I mean, considering our setup back home, you know, economically oh, and everything, how is that going? 
Oh, it's, it's, it's a brilliant project. So what we did then mm -hmm. is that we then started off uh, a, um, a talent search program called Dreamstar. Uh, so what Dreamstar does is that it's, it's like- But Dreamstar um, is under this project. Yeah, Dreamstar is under this project. So wow. we go around uh, the 10 provinces of Zimbabwe looking for talent. Mm -hmm. uh, we host the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, the winner takes uh, 5,000 US dollars. But the idea of it mm -hmm. is not about the 5,000 US dollars. It's about finding new talent, finding mm -hmm. an untapped talent, raw talent in Zimbabwe, groom it and showcase it outside the country and try and build names for, for these young artists. So we, we started having cultural exchange programs with countries like China, uh, the United States, Germany, mm -hmm. um, and we then got artists that came out of that program that have won awards right now. Uh, artists like Nyasha David. Uh, Fusion yeah, Python I've listened to Nyasha David. I've actually played yeah. Nyasha David. It's amazing stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who Fusion else? Five Man, Fusion Five Manguiro, uh, Mwenge Matole. Uh, there's Union Five. Uh, he's a hip hop artist. Uh, Pro Beats have also passed through the same program. Wow. So, so it's 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 right now. Currently, it's 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 managing the uh, National Arts Merit Awards. Uh, JCMC is managing the we are the event coordinators of uh, the National wow. Arts Merit Awards. So, so yeah. So next year wow. will be our third year. This is our uh, we did our second uh, NAMA mm -hmm. this year, which was virtual. The first one we did at HICC, and I'm the arts director there. Wow. Um, yeah. So yeah. So we, uh, I, I, I slowly moved from music and started focusing on stage productions. I've done stage productions in in, in China. Mm -hmm. I've done I've I've, I've done um, uh, stage production and management for a lot of projects that we have done in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's that's where well, I am. Right now. So I, know, I, I, record, I, yeah. I totally I totally uh, love the fact that you've been able to stay within your passion. Uh, yes. You know, just using your gifts uh, to do other things, but within what you love and all this that you're telling me, especially me. It, you see, that's why I said I need it. I I always need to sit down with people and just you know find out where they're coming from and where they are now because I didn't even know that Dreamstar was something that you were directly involved with like that. I know yeah. about Dreamstar and uh, it's one thing that I celebrate because I think it started when I was when I was back home or just before I yes, 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 yes. So yes. so it's it's really amazing to know that an artist has been able to impact in the industry the way that you are doing and I also want would like to say that I think it's really amazing and shows a lot of um, character uh, in, in terms of the way that you have believed in yourself and your gift uh, why I say this is because when Ishim Feshi took a break to say okay guys just for a little bit and see figure out what we can do Joe left and then so it may, it may be it would have been difficult for you to continue whatever you decided after that. Um, but Heshun Fish was not there anymore. But you were able to go to other producers to work with, mm. you know, Mark D, um, and, and just maintain what you believed in, which is music. A lot of people find it difficult. Kuti Nambomugantins in the station manager of High FM. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> to, to get what I'm trying to say, no, a lot of us no, don't see the bigger picture in terms of yeah. our gifts or our talent that we can still impact in so many different ways. You were you were able to do it, but in the meanwhile, something else was brewing, which is the the media company, and the media company yeah. is doing amazing works internationally as well. So, in terms of the fact that you are here, I don't know for how long you're here or if you're here uh -huh. for a while. Um, how are you able to then, you know, coordinate yourself in terms of, you know, what is happening in Zimbabwe and all the other countries that you might be working with uh, whilst being here? How, how are you doing that? How have you been managing? Uh, well, uh, like I said, uh, JCMC is, mm -hmm. is, is a media company and we've got uh, a big team, an amazing, mm -hmm. an amazing big team. Um, like for instance, with the National Arts Merit Awards, um, mm -hmm. the person that is the main producer is um, 
Napoleon Yani. I was, was about to ask really. about Napoleon because yeah. my thinking was that Napoleon is the guy who is the everything for Nama. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what. I, but I didn't know how to ask it. I, I didn't know how to come up. Ah, uh, all right. Yes. No, that's that, that's all right. We've got an amazing team, you know. And, yeah, you and Na- Napoleon he hits it on the nail. You know, he knows how to do this thing. It's amazing, you know? so yeah. Because he's really, you guys yeah, have yeah, really yeah. just turned yeah. Nama into. This international kind of thing, I, I would say. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's, it's I, th- I think it's 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 everyone's dream. The standards yeah, dream are, to, are getting better. Yeah, yeah, for, for yeah, for Zimbabwe to produce something that you can that that you won't be troubled to go and showcase kind of play or something from South Africa. You can play it and say, no, this is what we are producing as Zimbabwe. That's and true. we need to get to that point where we celebrate our artists is how they should be celebrated. Let's this is our native right. Hollywood exactly. telling show. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it it's it starts it starts very, 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 very slow. And the great thing, like I said, we've got a great team. We've got a mm-hmm. great team. We've got uh, Tinashe Kitchen who is um the man who sees or the, the 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 whole company how it runs you mm-hmm. make sure that everything is is on point so me being here is is not is, is not a problem because for instance yeah, after all you and i we what are, we're doing now exactly, exactly. you and i we are talking, you know? and you know in, 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 in the pandemic as well this is just exactly. how everything is being done not all that's true. It time I didn't go famba, but I'm gonna have to still 15 minutes from the next hour if 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 we still have a lot to talk about. Uh, but oh, um, right. I, I now I'm gonna get personal. Um, if yeah. you allow me to, and please, please, Leo, if you're not uh-huh. comfortable, you are allowed on the show to say that ah, yeah, I'm just going to answer my assistant to the next time, huh? Oh, well, no problem. No problem. <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's do so, it. You you've obviously now got it married to a woman who is not uh, originally from the. I don't know, but I have a feeling she might not originally be from Zimbabwe because I think at times don't go from what Zimbabwe and India get a color and India and did it. But yeah, that's a, lot of, that, a lot of people that are Zimbabwean that are not necessarily like me. How did uh-huh. you meet your wife? Uh, well, there's a friend of mine called John Chago. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a project that he was uh, working on called Chi Yes. So, so I was doing I was doing the sound. So he came to me and said, "Leo, listen up with this program that I'm doing. It's an HIV and AIDS program." So I was doing a lot of these programs. I was an ambassador for a lot of things. So he then said, "Listen, I want you to then come and assist me in terms of." Uh, sound. You can yes. come and do the sound and whatnot. I said, listen, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll come and help you because he's a good friend of mine. Yes. And, you know, uh, yeah, and, and, and we've worked together on a lot of projects. So I then um, started working with him. So uh, whilst working with him, mm-hmm. we had our last shows that were being done at, uh, at a research center where she, she was working. Okay. So she 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 was working with um, Dr. Ferrand, um, Rashida mm-hmm. Ferrand. So we are shooting the last part of that at at a house, which also where office is. <laughs> so as we were shooting, uh, she was the person stories. who was who was hosting us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. I, 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 I love to hear so your beautiful yeah. love stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So we we started speaking when we when that mm. the, the, when that was being filmed. The funny mm. thing is how we started talking is that there's a friend of hers called Sarah Sarah mm-hmm. Lord. So she, she they were sitting they were just sitting in, in the kitchen. So I was passing through. Mm-hmm. Then she said, uh, "I hate that you are a celebrity because the, that same day I had an interview with Star FM, and the mm-hmm. the producer." The, the mm-hmm. cameraman who was who was who was moving with me didn't know that I was a celebrity. So I then asked them, "Listen, can we stop for thirty minutes? I've got a I've got a radio interview." Mm-hmm. So they started listening. The producer then realized that I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a musician. When I came back, he said, "Dude, you didn't you didn't tell me you're a celebrity." I said, "No, I was, right now I'm I'm I'm, I'm your sound guy." You know. <laughs> so this let's guy was from the music. For now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's work with that for now. <laughs> right now, I'm doing a different job. So when 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 he got to the place that we were shooting uh, the, the the research center, mm-hmm. he, he, did, he then went and told uh, my current wife that he, you know, this this guy's a celebrity. You know, he's been coming here, and we didn't even know. We went to a radio station, and 
you know, a lot of people were calling him. So as I was going out of the kitchen, mm. uh, he then, yeah, she, she told me with a friend, Sarah, said, we had that sort of celebrity. I said, uh, I'm kind of one. I said, uh, so. <laughs> that one is, you I know, know it's always hard to <laughs> answer that one. I know what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. <I'm seeing> you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. They said, uh, do you know Jaffrey? I said, yeah, I know Jaffrey. I said, are you friends with Jaffrey? I said, mm-hmm. yes. Then they started narrating their story about how they went to uh, uh, to a fashion show in Jaffrey. Uh, performed. Happened to be know? there. So, yeah, I happened to be they there. They were crashing so, on him, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, 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 it's a funny story as well. Okay, it's a funny yeah. story about Japanese. What they thought, you know, they thought they was used to wear army clothes. Yes. So they were surprised. They thought, why is this soldier, you know, coming on stage? <laughs> so it's a different story. It's a different story on the jet. Oh my God. So, yeah. So, uh, we then started speaking. Then mm-hmm. one. Then after we finished the whole project, mm-hmm. um, you know, so started we, we up. Yeah, yeah. So when we finished the project, we had a party. At mm-hmm. this party, we were the only two people that were not drinking alcohol. So we just ended up sitting together and just talking. Innocent, and talking innocent stories. Talking innocent stories. Sober, so, sober stories. That is exactly boring <laughs> stories. You know, so for, when oh, people get drunk. Exactly. <laughs> So for over a year, we just continued talking as friends. Then oh. uh, after about a year, you know, yeah, we've got a lot of things in common and, oh. and common, and we 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 like each other. Then oh. yeah, you know, one faithful one faithful day, I then decided to yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's how we met. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful love story. You know? <laughs> He, he just happens to have a lot of those. And this one is, is, is amazing in the sense that it, it ends up with them, you know, tying the knot. So this is like how far back, if you remember? Oh, this is uh, six and a half years ago. Oh, my goodness, dude, enough respect. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> respect, because they come in and after a year or two, they are seeing other things. So i got respect oh, for you, so my true. brother. Honestly, I that's so true. And the reason why I even ask about your, your, your personal life like that, which I try to avoid, except if I have no choice, like in this yeah. case, because I know that a lot of people, you know, the streets, especially on social media, yeah, going, a lot of on, and, a lot of going on and on. And I was, you know, I almost felt bad because I'd already started talking to you. What you didn't tell me was that the, the dates that you said you were not available is because you were going to be, you know, getting married. So yeah, yeah, when okay. then I yeah. see you, you know, all over, you've gotten married and then I've got an interview coming and then I'm seeing all of these people that people are writing and sharing and I'm like, how oh, people just don't think that I'm going to have him on this <laughs> just to troll him as well because I'm not no, like no, it's, <laughs> You know, the thing is that uh, it's all right. Um, you know, when 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 you're a public figure, yeah. people always uh, people true. always take interest in you, That's and um, and people always have assumptions and opinions, mm-hmm. and those assumptions and opinions are, are either verified by uh, uh, by what we are doing right now. Yes. You know, when we talk about it, and and, and we speak about it, it's nothing wrong because. People want to know. They want to. They want to find out the truth. They want to know what they are assuming if it's the truth. If their opinions are valid, so it's nothing wrong. That's social media, and 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 as people, you know, we need such things as these interviews so that we can clarify all these things. That's true. I've I've often said this uh, to many of the people that are in you know in have a public life, and I've always said that you know what we've been given. Whilst a lot of people tend to think that you know social media is so bad because of a lot of the negativity that goes on there, but it's mm. also have it has also given us space to be able to express ourselves. Uh, and so true. you that don't even so need to be a well known person. You can just be whoever you are but you've got a platform to express yourself, to express your views, to show the world what you want to show them without someone trying to get into your business and then assuming, like you say, 
they get into a business, they make assumptions and they come up with a big story and say, ah, I will tell you, Bridget, is so and so. I have so many times I've, I've said to myself that, I've said to myself, a lot of people really don't know me because mm, there's a yeah. certain picture because maybe they just thought there was a sexy voice on radio and, and so yeah. sexy voices and, you know, they try to relate you to a lot of things. I'm not perfect, but yeah. I would feel like a lot of people don't know me. And there's a time that's I got, true. I got that's comfortable true. with it. I said, that's fine. My life still goes on. There's nothing we can do about that. But with social media, if we use it correctly, if we use it positively, we will impact messages that will change other people's lives. We will uh, be able to tell people what they want to know. But who are your fans? We are so happy. And now that we're hearing the hearing the love story, Gutagumana, Gorivan, Machungo Tower, Vananto Sochata, after almost seven years, Zimbabwean men vano vano paint one a certain brush. You get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's true. I'm not even that's going true, to talk yeah. about men. I'm just going to talk about Zimbabwe men. Zimbabwe men want to paint one in brush. No, they just come beat and they hit the road. So yeah. when we hear such beautiful love stories, it also inspires other people. It also inspires other women that look very cool. Zimbabwe Zimbabwe very poor. <laughs> even after seven years or almost seven years so this is a beautiful story and for me that's that's why i have this show those are the kind of things i want to share because it then helps us to be better in in terms of our characters and personalities and everything because you hear someone is imparting no, it's kind of funny. Muna, I'm going to go to Zimbabwe. Men like we all tend to think, ah, we're going to Zimbabwe. Ah, you are going to Zimbabwe. I'm going to go to Zodai. I'm sure you are going to Zodai. There's Leonard. There's Leonard. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to work a comment or somewhere. Um, I think I don't know what somebody had asked you for a comment. I'll get the Daka told me that it was to do with. I think somebody tried to say, ah. Uh, that whole uh, thing of thinking that which I also did at some point uh, uh, or whatever uh, and you uh, just as soon as I realized that you know his character is like what I've always known you, you, you're just so simple in dealing with issues and you've just expressed it because you said something to the effect or something i don't really remember oh <laughs> you just casually, oh, yeah, you just casually answered it in a way of, yeah, yeah. think what you want to think but this is me so i'm i'm, I'm proud of that you know aspect uh, about your character uh, being in this industry, Yagazara, uh, whether you like it or not, when I'm talking about it, to talk about it, my zone dress, I'm going to take a nice, I'm going to take a last week. You know, people just because people are people, Aunga, some people are so cheating, Santa Tower like this, Santa Tower like that. Not all. So I'm very that's happy so that's so uh, that we are talking like this, but obviously. Tufa na orida ma beats, tufa na ku kunzwa more about you know shirikuitika as much as now we know about the media company. We want to come uh -huh. back and talk about the plans of 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 the media company or the plans around Leonard Mapfumo. Is Leonard going to be doing a back and forth or he's going to be settling here or whatever? We just want to hear a little bit about that. Ah, uh, uh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Manjika song of the Gandhi virus is a guy. The act. Papa, 
kwaterwa bona bakuvenza mazatu kwatera ewe ono pera pei abona kubeja masusu pets hope that you will link up on romance what you get is a flip and the pop and pass aba mama ni market mutuli body language mashuru kwi ba bring that to na set to chop your money Uh, I'll tell you this. I discovered this song yesterday, but I didn't even know there was a song like this. And the video as well. It's it's quite cool and features Sniper, did it? Yeah, yeah, it's just Sniper. I'll tell you something about about the song and the video. So mm-hmm. you know, yeah. And so this Anna, song, Anna, Anna Jibaby is in it as well, I think. Anna Jibaby on it. Yeah, she's part of the Dreamster project that I was uh, telling you about. Wow. Yeah, the talent, uh, talent scouting and management. Talent scouting, grooming and management. Perfect, yeah. perfect piece for that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. so you, yeah, you wanted just, to tell me about the song and the video? Oh, yeah, this song, this song. So uh, how we wrote this song, it was during the, the, the first lockdown. Mm-hmm. So Sniper and I were just sitting at the studio and we were watching things that were happening on on uh, on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, one uh, socialite had promised a certain amount of money to pay to a certain kind of girl that had won uh, a competition, a dance competition on their timeline. And unfortunately, yeah, and unfortunately they could not pay it uh, the full amount. Then you know. Me and Sniper, we then joked around like, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's the kind of things that we would have, that we would have seen uh, when we were in our shows where, you know, a guy would have a lot of money and we live at the end of the day with, with not even enough to take him back home, you know. So we then decided to, okay, let's write a song. But because then when we wrote the song, you know, we, we then decided to do a video, but we could not do a video because we, uh, it was during the lockdown and there was a number of people that could only be in the same space at the same time. Mm-hmm. So we then decided to make a plan. So you know what we did? Mm-hmm. We took our phones and shot the video. So that, that video is shot on an iPhone 7. Wow, really? <laughs> Yeah, the video is shot from an iPhone 7 in one house. Actually, uh, uh, just two rooms. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Yeah, so yeah. So we, as the, as the, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, so that's what happened. We just had to, yeah, we just had to make do. But, but I, you know, I absolutely love it. I don't know how well it did. When was this you, you did the song? Uh, we did it in 20, 2020. We did it last year. Oh, just the last first year. Lockdown. Yeah, the last year. Because uh, I just discovered it yeah, yesterday. And I, I, was, I was totally amazed by it. And I was totally amazed by the characters in it. And I also like the fact that Panika beat Ke Urumba, like, which is not okay. really, yeah, which <laughs> is not really Uda like Uda. you, ex- Uda like, and you know, but you really just were flowing, just like it flow in any song, which is really amazing, even for Sniper. Sniper Tom Zia, I'm so do you know, you know, yeah, so, yeah. I love him, soldier. And for him to sing the way that he did in the song, and then also having Anna to be uh uh doing also her thing in it. It's 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 beautiful. If you don't know about this song, please go check it out. As it's on YouTube, the video is on YouTube. Uh it's called Myros. And be careful it's, it's a nice song and then i would really love to play but we don't we won't have time i would love to play it whilst you're here but i don't i'll play it when when we go off um you did a All song right. as well what i've loved is that you're doing songs with uh, people in the current sort of you know the popular ones at the moment yeah you know, like we speak about anna anna has got a huge following and uh, she she's well known she's well loved as well and um you did another song with t guns uh called yeah Mabukadze. when was that song? Mabukadze. yeah uh Mabukadze, we did it um actually Mabukadze, did i not release it this year 
I think really? I didn't release it. Yeah, I released it. Um, I released it this year because you know what 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 I what I had seen was that there was a lot of talk of uh, domestic violence during the lockdown. That's you know, true. And, and yeah, and a lot of women didn't have uh, like spaces to 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 tell their stories Express and themselves. You'd, yeah. You, yeah, exactly. You would see on Facebook there is a beating that's happening here there is mm. and it was just it was just things that people were talking about but there wasn't even you know like like a solution i, I believe that you know for for us to stop this uh, gender based violence we need to talk about it you know we need to talk about it and we need to create the perfect gentleman from what we do and how we teach our children so we just said it to write a song where where we we appreciate we appreciate the women so when I when I when I spoke to T Guns, T Guns was all in, you know, he was all in and he understood the concept that I wanted to do. And he said, come, let's do it. So we did that song because we wanted to address the issue of 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 uh, uh, domestic based violence, but in a way of appreciation. So you know, appreciating uh, yeah, the yeah, exactly Mambo Kaz, the fair agenda. You know, yeah, Mambo Beautiful. Kaz. It's, it's, you it's guys also, are, yeah. You can go on, sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys deserve all the praise. Like you said, you know, we, we've we got um, a soft spot for our mothers. That's you know? true. Uh, you know, so we've, we, it's not just our mothers. We've got a soft spot for our mothers, our sisters, our wives, because these are the people that take care of business. You mm-hmm. know, they take care of business. They make, they make the world go around. You know, happy wife, happy home. You know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm, 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 I like the attitude that you carry, considering you know you are officially in it now. Yeah, yeah. You're on the right path. Yeah, yeah. A happy yeah. home, so, a happy, a happy wife. What do, what do yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's um, it's it's so amazing. I think you continue to be doing excellent work within the industry uh some of us at times get to a point where you get discouraged because of situations and i see that sometimes people tend to think ah you know um, mm. and they just let go but they're still there they are 70s 80s they they are still making an impact in the industry without necessarily trying true. to be Ella May or you know Kelly Rowland or Beyonce but they are taking the space where they, they need to be because I think what the world likes at the moment is is, is is probably our elders in different aspects of life we, we, we we've gotten to a space where at times we feel good we've got everything because we've got the internet i, I can google i always joke about this that in the doctor because we're getting one on i google and i read <laughs> some, I of know. The, <laughs> some of the terms i don't even understand but i get a general idea of what this is about you know saga mm. i think we're also in a world where people are now go fill out you know and when i google i get all the information i need uh, you know exactly and i think exactly. in every industry uh in, in even just social circles it our elders before uh, can give you one or two uh, ideas that can help you so when we see people like you and what you are doing i am so amazed uh because there's, there's 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 a lot of room for you to impart which is what is important even the word itself teaches us to love one another or to love your brother as you love yourself and i think if you love yourself uh and you are supposed to love your brother the way you love yourself it means that inini is bridget kanapane are willing to other kunz what do i have to share with them then i should be able to share it with them Without trying to make them feel any smaller, but you know, So I'm very happy. 
uh, that this is what Leonard Mofumo has been doing. Um, a lot of work uh, in the background and the humility, uh, not trying to be seen with Dindara Penga, but you all have to paint. So enough <laughs> for that. Enough, 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 oh, enough respect you. for that. Oh, and this is why I love my own show because it also um, informs me about a lot of things that are happening around me and getting to hear it from the horse's mouth cap. No story, 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 not sort of peace out with anything else. Now, because of time, I am going to play one more song, but I'll play two when we get off um, from you. I know songs that people really love uh, before I even get off uh, uh, Facebook as well. So I'm going to play one more song uh, before I let you go. Uh, and this is obviously one of the songs that did very well for you. I remember even on the charts on, on, on uh, Power FM, this was a big song. Hey, oh, hey, This was obviously one of those big songs out of uh, the Leonard Ma uh, Mapfumo world. Agreed? Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, featuring it was uh, mm -hmm. featuring XQ and Kevy from, um, yeah, featuring XQ and Kevy, yeah, from mm -hmm. Trinity. Um, yes, yeah, it was, it was, it was really big, um, home and away. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, How yeah, it, it, it sorry, it's not to the warm watch or gas. I just say it as a warm time. Yeah, it, it, it managed to, to make it as a soundtrack for a film that was shot here. Wow. Um, yeah, called My New Home. Um, yeah, well, you were home, it's it, it stayed on number one for 42 weeks. Yes, uh, yeah, I got in touch. Uh, you know, guys are saying, Oh, premier, go, lemma, go, yes, 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 yeah, yeah. So, they wanted they wanted the song, they wanted to uh, to buy the rights for the song and whatnot. So, wow. you know, un unfortunately, I wanted to keep the song. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. So it was, it, it was, it was, it, was, it, it, it really, it, it was big. It was big, and that. No, you've, you've brought uh, up that something fantastic. that 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 then I can't not talk about before you go. Uh -huh. um, seems like uh, I know you're on social media. There's a lot of uh, uh, controversies. There's a lot of disappointments and bitterness. Uh, a lot uh -huh. of artists are not happy about copyright issues and some of them have worked with uh -huh. big record companies like Anna Sony. I was with uh, uh, Chidi of uh, Malaika last week on the show and mm -hmm. um, it, it, the, the, I tried to manage it, I'd say, 
but I saw a lot of emotions, you know, that I almost felt that I couldn't uh, probably manage well because it was also affecting me. Uh, uh-huh. Being an artist myself, I don't sing, but you know, I'm in the arts. Uh, how at times you put so much into what you're doing, but you don't get out of it what you probably deserve and that's what I felt because uh, Chidi was also even telling us that um, she doesn't get royalties for Destiny uh, which is a song that was so big and she basically sang in the whole song Uh, but you know I don't know what you guys sign behind closed doors and everything (laughs) what do you have to say to other artists uh, to do with copyright or the rights to your music? Do you own all your music or you're also in a space where some songs go to Yeshim Freshi, which you're part of, or some songs are with Delani, uh, are some songs with Mark D. How, 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 how do you do it? And what can you say to the younger artists out there? Uh, well, uh, uh, you asked a two-part question. Uh, you mm-hmm. asked uh, about the rights. Um, for me, um, I, I, I own the rights to my music. Which I own, is great. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I was, yeah, I was quite privileged that um, I worked with a group of people that uh, were friends rather than with colleagues. You know, so uh, in, in whatever arrangements that we, that we made, we, you know, it we was balanced music for the passion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. balanced. Um, then it comes to the second question that you asked. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, you know, what do we sign? You know what we say yes. when, uh, when know, we're not yeah, there yeah. after you there. give us the music and we're enjoying yeah, it. what are exactly. those papers that yeah. you find at the back there with to do with the your your music yeah uh the, the thing about music is that uh i think when i was narrating on how i started off mm-hmm. my my main goal was to record music and uh, because it's what i loved to do i wanted to record music mm-hmm. uh, on on way it left after after recording it, way it went uh, from the studio to to the radio and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I wasn't really concerned about it. My mm-hmm. my first goal and my only goal that I was looking at was recording the music. Yeah. You know, because that's your passion. So yeah. most artists, when they are starting, this is where they start from. They start from wanting to record, wanting to make a mark, wanting to make music, being able to express themselves through music. You know, mm-hmm. so during that time is when artists are, are very vulnerable. Was you find a person for just say, hey, come, come along, let, I'll record you and let's do, let's do the music, let's do everything. Whilst you're doing your music, uh, the, the different record, record labels, they already know where this music is going to go and they know what, what, what it's worth. But you as an individual, you don't know what it's worth. What you just want is to get this music out of you and record it and, and release it, you know. So a lot of people then sign blindly because all they want to do is to achieve their first goal, you know. Then um, you then say, what do you then say to the new artists that are coming? Mm-hmm. It is very important, you know. Uh, a lot of a lot of industry, a lot of industries, they have got mentor mentorship. If you go to college and you're studying uh, communication, you've got uh, a year where you go and work. You know, mm-hmm. where you go and work at a, at a radio station at a new, at a, at a, at a, at a, in a newsroom, you know, yes. so yeah. that you get the idea of what it takes to, to be in the media, to be a journalist, yes. you know. That's true. So, but with music, there's nothing like that. It's, it's passion that you're driving, something that you discover that you love, you mm-hmm. know, something that, that, that is embedding you. And from there, you jump and get into the studio. Mm-hmm. But as well, the music industry needs to be structured like that. We artists, They've got mentorship, you know, they've got mentorship. You are a musician, uh, you come to me, I find you, you are an amazing musician. Most of my artists ask Shinzo, ask Nyasha David, ask uh, Fusion 5. I tell them this, your music industry is, is a five-year plan. It's a five-year project. Mm-hmm. The first two years is for you to get there, for people to know you, you know. Some, some artists are very lucky in the first two years, in the first year, they, they make a big song, they win awards. But in winning awards, I still tell them that you are still in the beginning phase. If you can win awards now, imagine what you can do in the next five years. Mm-hmm. So when contracts come, I tell them, no, this contract we cannot sign because this is what they want. 
you know so you need a mentor find a mentor find someone who has been there who's done it before you know who's who's experienced this whole thing someone who's got you uh, in, in their heart someone who's got yeah exactly you know someone who's got you at at if if, if you call them they 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 will answer those are the kind of people that you need to go with someone who's been where you are you know mm-hmm. someone who is who's gone beyond where you want to go so that you learn from them and understand that music is not a competition but it's an industry just like any other and there are people that have come before you find one that will teach you how to walk where to walk where to step on and what not to do so i think musicians we need we just need to structure our things that way so that we are not taking advantage of that's that's that is so profound because yeah. i think many times we get into the entertainment industry blindly because mm. we are getting excited about if it were to date about the numbers isn't it a lot of people have taken notice so you know i'm big like that but mm. you and then you are dishing out your all uh signing contracts that you're not really yeah. reading through everything and all you like you said the, the 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 main goal at the start of everything is to get your stuff out there so mm. you get your stuff out there but there's a time when for 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 reckoning you know there's a time mm. when we go back to the contract and someone who was known from the start what they are doing will know that okay we we'll catch you it's a time when you start looking at the numbers the same but are the figures saying the same with the popularity that i might have Yeah. realize that no it's it's not talent and you want to come back now and say ah but guys ka in i'm doing a b c d e uh for you or for for us and i think i deserve so much and so ramba kubuda manje and i think that is a situation even with um, is it master kg and mm, and KG, no yeah. table yeah who say yeah. jerusalem the song just blew up like that it, it exactly. it's, it's mm. crazy and maybe at a time when they initially started zengo fungo akachangwe to ka make a beat ka ngona ke tsavana that's so, that's so true that's so, so true. then yeah. you start realizing oh god what did i just sign i don't know what has has been signed and she's one person that i really want to speak with about that but it's 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 like the excitement the excitement will fizzle out at some point talk to some mm. numbers talk to some figures that's when you realize and this is kuno kunzete chikuto kuanzira kuti hey, naiwe do we learn at mafumo you mean do you that's so true <laughs> you, do, I do, I... do 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 okay but to to chat hey, wait wait is <laughs> that the car that you drive you and you know iki uchiru iki saka uchiru kunakidzwa nokunza i own this and i go to these places and i dress like this just yana when you're older and you're more stable in the way you think au cha you'll be like okay yes that's the car that i drive and i'm comfortable with it but there's a time when van mm. waruku kupaka vibe with i own mbi this direct you i'm going to drive a motor you that's when you start looking back to say ndaka sign a one or draw ka sign wakatungo shi sign a we watch uh this mm. nothing for you so mm. what we true. said is really really profound and i really appreciate you saying uh mentorship is is the way to go no to when we can't afford to get mentorship yeah you know but that were paid for but we can get people that mm. have been in the industry that we can just support and say na ndu dzeo na iba mono mkundu zvino mbonya dzokufamba sei wo kana wapinda mu industry and because he's been there for a long time he's able to say That's okay true. this is how I'm going to help you so thank you very much for saying that i really need to let you go because i'd say to you which is good to do <laughs> uh could have passed 12 to 1 o'clock and i really appreciate you staying this long thank you very much no, thank you for uh, i know the united way. kingdom can be funny shifts and uh, there's a whole lot of <laughs> runs ah, it's crazy i know i know <laughs> thank you for your time. Paid, yeah School no, thank you for don't, don't even go there school and is that ah school and I, i'll tell you it's one thing i i really don't like about this country is school and <laughs> but i wouldn't trade it for the world because then i wouldn't really want someone else doing it for me because i just want to make sure i'm there where my son is but it's oh, it's, it's, it's not true. a simple story that's what i can say not all days are good i'm going to walk out with this song but i'm going to play one more when you're gone i'm playing out with this one Yeah. Ah, but nice vibe Leo keep it keep it going thank ah, you thank you thank amazing you so much. stuff thank you <laughs> thank you for thank you for everything yes me you said oh you want to touch it see this